Hi you guys, this is Cooking with Amy and tonight we are making a yummy um, mac and cheese. It's my way. Um, now I've never really made mac and cheese but we're going to attempt it. It was never my favorite growing up but again I'm going to attempt. So we are going to wait a few minutes so we can get some people to come on and then we'll kind of go through the process of what we're going to do to make a yummy mac and cheese. Actually, I should say it's a um, butternut squash mac and cheese, but it's going to be delicious. I know. Okay, you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Here is the cheese we're going to use. It's a bunch of different cheeses. A, bu a bunch of different cheeses. Oh my goodness, that was hard to say. So, I'm going to tell you what cheeses I am going to use. I have one of them, and this is the reason why I was a little late coming on, because I had to look it up, because I don't know, I didn't know what it was. Still don't, but I know where it's from. Okay, so we have a yummy, creamy, natural Gouda cheese, which is apparently when you're making mac and cheese, Gouda cheese is one of the ones you make. All right, then I have a couple of them, and this is the reason why I had to look them up. They're from other countries, so again, I had to look them up. I tried them. Um, I got them for something else, but I wanted to see what they taste like and they were pretty yummy. So this one here is a semi-soft part skim cheese. It's a mild, mellow, nutty flavor. And it's originally from Norwegian, but it doesn't say what type it is. But that's, if you can see it, that's who they're from. And then this one here is um, also from Switzerland. Apparently, I'm kind of going up that area. This is a La Greerie cheese. Um, they're good for cheese boards. Um, and then for like, what we're making tonight. And then um, I got a garlic. It's a garlic roasted, a roast garlic. Sorry, I'm saying bastards backwards and pasteurized process from New York State cheddar cheese, which I've tried that one alone and I love it. Anything garlicky, I love it. All right, and then this is the one I had to look up. It's from, it's um, Adam Mild and it's from Holland. So I looked it up and I have my little cheat sheet. So it was perfect. It doesn't really say what kind of cheese it was, but it is pretty good. So it's a semi-hard cheese from um, Netherlands named after the town of Ed Ed Edam. It's E-D-A-M, so I might be pronouncing it wrong, I'm not sure, but it's in Holland. Um, it was huge in the 14th century because it traveled well and it didn't spoil, it just got harder as it matured. So it's a semi-hard, like I said, a semi-hard cheese, but it's really good. I don't know which one it is in here, but again, this is all the cheese that we're going to use. So earlier today, um, cause like I said, I've never really made mac and cheese before. Um, it wasn't a huge thing. I don't think my mom ever made it, but I remember as a kid, um, I, I went to a babysitter's house after school and this is when I was really, really young. Um, and I didn't like mac and cheese and I told her that I didn't want to eat the one and it's the ones that we still eat today, you know, the normal ones you get from the store, it's that powdered cheese. I didn't like it and I ended up getting sick so I never really liked mac and cheese, you know, ever since then. So let me show you what I've got going on so far because there was a lot of prep to go on this. So this is my butternut squash. I kind of roasted it. Salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of olive oil. This here is our broccoli that we're going, and by the way, we're putting broccoli in it. And then this is my water for our noodles. Whew, did you guys get a steam bath or what? Okay, all right, we are going to get our pan going so we can start our, I'm trying to make sure this pot isn't hot when I, I was gonna make some, um, some tea before we got going, but nope. I decided not to. I needed I needed the room on the stove instead. All right, we're gonna put your put you here on the stove. Now I do have my stove preheating right now at 400, so when we're ready to bake all of this, it's ready to go. All right. Um. So let me go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna start warming up um, some half and half. Now I am gonna do all of this cheese because whether I use all of it or not. It's okay if I don't, because I'm making actually a, a, kind of a smaller batch because I don't want to make something too huge. So the cheese I'd probably use for something else. 
I can probably use it, you know, on top of some broccoli or some cauliflower. Um, matter of fact, today when I wanted to check to see if these cheese melted, so at my lunchtime, I put some milk, I had another thing of these, just a little bit left, and I put a couple pieces of the cheese in here and it melted perfectly, so I was really happy with that. So, um, let's go ahead and get this going. We're gonna take all of this cheese, while this is warming up, we're gonna put this in here. Now, you guys might hear my dog go a little bit crazy because I'm waiting for a package. One of them already came, and the other one is supposed to come today, and I'm kind of excited about that one. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Okay. So we got all of our cheese in here. Look at all that yumminess going on in there. Yay! Okay. So what we're going to do is, oh, I think it helps if I turn on a burner. All right, so I have my water boiling that's gonna be for my noodles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my noodles in. Let me find something to open this bit. All right, sorry, I had to open it up. All right, so I'm just gonna put them in here. Like I said, my noodles are or my water's boiling, so I'm gonna add my noodles. Let's give this a stir real quick. We put these noodles so they don't get stuck together. Oop, now, okay, so the noodles aren't gonna get stuck together, but I am whirling the water around that I'm making it go over. Good job, Katie. All right, so I'm moving those around a little bit, and all I have is a little bit of salt in the water, and that's good. So what we're gonna do, still again, just kind of mix some of this stuff up, make sure the butter melts, so we're good. Or not butter, my goodness, cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. All right, so that's gonna take a bit to do. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna let that do its thing. And then, what I have is earlier today, I also made my own um, my own cheese, or my own cheese, my own bread. So this is, we're gonna do our little topping on top of it. We're gonna whisk those up real quick after we have the dog outside. So, some of the recipes I was showing that they put the bread crumbs on top and I was debating if I wanted to do um, bread crumbs or if I wanted to do something different. So I decided why not, let's make my own. So what I did is I just took some sliced um, sourdough bread. I had some butter that I had made on my own. Um, I had my own herbs in it and everything. It was, I think it's rosemary. It had some chives, some onions, and I think some garlic was in there. And I just rolled it up and put it in my fridge and I was been kind of using it for different things. So um, this one here I wanted, I figured let's use that butter up before the herbs go bad and let's make something delicious. So all I did is I um, melted the butter, took one of those little painting brushes or you know the culinary painting, I call them painting brushes. Um, I took those and I put that on top of it and then I just roasted it in the oven so they got nice and hard so they're nice and crispy. So if you look at it, See how nice and crispy it is? So then what we're gonna do is in my little chopper, we're gonna put them in that. So let me kind of churn you a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I always forget to undo this and I always struggle with it every time. Here I thought I was being prepared tonight. I don't know why these things have to be so complicated. Go. Okay. All right. Let's put this on here and then mop. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bread. And what I did is I just wanted to cut it up a bit. So that way that we can just put them in here because it's going to be kind of hard to put that in there. So all I did is, is take them. Cut them up a little bit, break them up just a teeny bit so we can whiz them up. And this is gonna be the topping. And this is kind of give us some time for the, the cheese to melt and all that kind of stuff. And then what we'll do is with the, um, with the butternut is when we kind of get that cheese melted and it's kind of good to go, we will be able to um, blend that up too with our little hand blender. 
Okay, we're gonna get noisy here just for a minute. Hold that down. See, making our own little breadcrumbs. Love it. Whoops. And I'm laughing. I'm like, why is it not working? It's just bouncing out of my hands is what it's doing. Okay, let's get some of those out of there because that breadcrumb is making it stick. I need a bowl. Give me one second. Let's get a bowl real quick. Oh no, I have one right here. So we need. Wait, I think we might have to do a little bit less in here. If not, we're all probably putting crumbs on it tonight. All right, let's see if we, if we can put a little bit less in there and see if we can get it to work. If not, we've got Yumminess for salad dressings, or for salads, some um, uh, croutons. All right, let's try this again. Well, that is a lesson learned. This does not want to make it crumbly. Well, there's a smidge in there. Well, we're not doing that tonight. Lesson learned, that didn't work. Again, this is what it's all about, learning. All right, let's check on our cheese. Let's check on our cheese and let's check on our broccoli because our broccoli might be done. So look at our cheese. It's getting delicious there. Let's start giving it a stir to mix around all of that yummy, yummy cheese. Mmm. See, and it's starting to melt. Look at that. Yum. And you can too, if you want to, you can add some cheddar um, cheese in here. I know it requires for that, but I figured since I have all of these other cheeses in here, I think these are gonna be good enough um, instead of keep adding more and more cheese. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, you can never go wrong with too much cheese. All right, and then what I'm doing too is I'm kind of giving my noodles a stir just because, I don't know, they need to be stirred. All right. And then our broccoli, I think our broccoli is done, so we're gonna shut those off real quick. And I think tonight too, because you know, all of this is experimenting for me. Like I said, I've never really made mac and cheese. So I think what I might do, like I said, I'm debating. It's in my head that I have it out there. Hanger. Okay, so I might, I have some um, roasted bell peppers that are in a jar. So I might take some of those and add it to it. I'm still not sure yet. I'm still kind of iffy on if I want to add those or not. Um, I always like to try and add a veggie somewhere and that's why I'm kind of doing the broccoli and I said, why not? You know, cheese, broccoli, noodles. Sure, why not? All right, our cheese is almost done and being melted in here. Now I want to make sure all the cheese is melted in here and you kind of want to keep it stirring because you don't want it to um, melt to the bottom and then burn with that cheese. So yeah. 
idea if our broccoli looks like it's then still pretty and looks yummy. So anyways, earlier today, I was trying this out and I was, you know, like I said, I was trying to make sure that this cheese melts and it is and it's almost done. So I added a little bit of, I think some of the recipes that I was looking at, they were um, saying add some uh, chicken broth or some broth to it. So I made my own um, chicken broth the other night. I thought, why not? Let's throw it in here. It's gonna have some really good yummy taste to it. And um, I think I added a little bit too much for the size that I was doing and it made it a little bit too, made it a little bit too runny. So I ended up having to, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. So what I ended up doing is I took some of the broccoli that I have and I added just a little bit to that one and I put it on the stove and I just kind of like cooked it a little bit low on low heat for a while just so the um, broccoli can cook through and get nice and soft. And so it was like the best cheese broccoli soup. I'll have to figure out what I did and what I put in it and, and I'll post it, but oh, it was delicious, you guys. <coughs> now you have to excuse me, my throat is a little dry. I've been kind of getting a little cold. It's almost over with though. It's only been like a couple days. It's, yeah, it's not a huge one. All right, I am gonna add my butternut squash to this. All right, so again, you guys, I roasted my butternut squash. All I wanna do is I'm gonna add this to it and then I'm gonna take my immersion blender. We're gonna take this off of the heat after we add this in and then I'm going to blitz it and this will be part of our be part of our um, our yummy yummy sorry you guys are totally seeing the back of this pan I just don't want to get my butternut squash everywhere all right <coughs> all right so we're going to turn this off yeah and we're going to take it over here and we're going to blitz it real quick don't worry you guys are going to come with me you guys you guys can you believe this year is almost over what is it like one more day two more days and then we're or no it's one more day tomorrow tomorrow's the 31st oh my goodness okay all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this and i'm going to mush up some of that Wash. I kind of move you guys back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I just wanted that up, up close of a picture. Right. Like I said, let's see. Oh, it looks so delicious. Now, I think since we are adding this in here, we may have to add. Because it is getting a nice and We may add. So I'm just trying to get in big chunks out of here. So that way, it just doesn't quite splash everywhere and it gets in there. And that makes it a delicious you guys look at that all right before I take that off and say we're done let me get my spoon all right Whoop. wrong handle let's get some of that off of there 
Let me see this here. Oh, that looks so yummy, you guys. Now, I might take a little bit of, I'm gonna put that kind of back in there. Mmm, you guys, that is delicious. I don't even think I said that right, but it's delicious. Oh my goodness. All those cheeses, you can really taste all of those cheeses in there. And they taste amazing together. You can taste a little bit of that garlic. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's take that off. Go put that in the sink real quick. Let me check on our noodles. I'm really debating if, I don't know, is that the way, how thick it's supposed to be? I don't know. We will figure it out. All right, let's check our noodles real quick. Let's see, let's bring it over here so I can see them a little bit better. Oops. Mm, I think they're done. Yep, they are perfectly done. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited about this. Oh, and then with that, noodles, ooh, baby come to mama. All right, so I started my dishwasher thinking I wouldn't need anything in there, and guess what's in there? My strainer. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? And it's still running. <laughs> Train it with the lid. Wish me luck, you guys. Maybe I should put the pot holders on. And that way I don't burn my fingers from all that steam. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna face you this way. So you guys can see what I'm doing, maybe. Alright. All right, you guys, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't lose everything and I don't burn myself. And I don't lose noodles. Let's make that hole a little bit smaller. There we go. Now I did this, I was, I think it was a couple years ago for my birthday. And I was like, it was actually, it was a couple years ago. So we were, I was working in the backyard and I had some friends coming over and I needed some space. And I was, we were like, back here, it was totally, completely crazy. And we were putting all of these, um, what do you call it? Um, we were putting these, these bricks down. And um, for like an extended patio type thing. And I was doing this and I was trying to dump some potatoes out. It was either potatoes or cauliflower, I can't remember. But anyways, I ended up dumping part of it out and lost like half of it just because I was trying to, you know, whoops. Let's try to be cool. All right, let's put this over here real quick. All right, again, like you guys, this is my first time making mac and cheese, and I'm making it Amy's version. So, we're just totally winging it. All right, I wasn't going to make this much, but what the hey, might as well. And I believe it freezes. Matter of fact, the container that I'm going to use can freeze. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dump all of this in here. Ooh, you can see some of that cheese that got stuck on there. You know, I should have like, look, look at all of this goodness. Okay, I am gonna show you the inside of this in just a minute. Cause look at this, let me turn you guys around. Look at that yummy mac and cheese, you guys. Look at that. Look at all of that goodness. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be delicious. All right, let's get the bigger one. Let's get the bigger one. All right, look at that. Mm. 
Look at all of that yummy mac and cheese that's in there. Ugh. Sorry, I probably keep taking you guys away. I'm trying to make sure that I get everything in there. Look at that yumminess. I'm super excited to try this and I'm hoping that it comes out delicious. All right. Oh, yum. All right, I think what I'm going to do is get a four. Because I do want to try a little bit of it. Mmm. That was good. I think what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of pepper. All right, so I'm going to take my pepper, take a couple good pinches, and put it in there. And we're going to mix it in, and then we're going to drain our... Now see, the nice thing about this here, it's like it's all cheese, and I might add just a splash of my beef, or not my beef, my chicken broth. Just a little bit to thin it out, just a little bit. But I think what I wanna do before I do that is add my broccoli. So I'm gonna drain the broccoli, watch this, let it steam, watch the steam, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. Look, more steam, look at that broccoli. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. So I love broccoli. Now I should have done this beforehand, but I'm just, since they are nice and tender, I mean, look how easy those cut through. I mean, they're just like perfectly tender. I probably didn't even need that knife, but I wanted to break up some of those big chunks just a little bit. Now I kind of probably could have used another bag of this or a full bag, but you know what, that's okay. Just a little bit of, you know, broccoli in here is perfectly fine. All right, let's get that mixed in here as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. This is a huge, huge pot, and I know it's gonna freeze really good, but if anybody wants some mac and cheese, let me know, because I will bring you some. And I want to thank you guys for watching me. I know it's like almost New Year's. You guys are probably relaxing, all that kind of fun stuff. Oh, this looks delish, you guys. Oh. I'm definitely ready for the New Year's. I've got two walks. So every year, after New Year's, on New Year's Day, there's a group of us that we get together and we go walking. So I'm looking really forward to that. And then Saturday, um, so last weekend, yes, it was Sunday. Last Sunday, I went for a walk, and there's a little nature area um, that's close by where I live that, um, like I said, I, I like photography as well, and there's this um, person that had posted about, um, what do you call it, posted about this, this nature walk, which I kind of forgot about. A friend of mine told me about it, and... Um, all right, so we're adding just 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 a smidge of this is my my chicken broth um so i decided to go for a walk and when i went for my walk i saw the most beautiful beautiful thing i saw some deer some little deers and then i saw a um a buck so there was this guy that was kind of walking along and this is the reason why i really wanted to go check out you know this walk and stuff like that and i can't bring my dog so it's kind of bummed just because it is you know a nature a nature preserve type thing and then there's a golf course around it too but anyways i saw this this um buck and i saw the other little animals with it or the other little deers it was the coolest thing ever so anyways we're doing that walk again on um, saturday mm. that is pretty good i like the broccoli in with it now i am gonna bake this just because, I don't know what it said to, but 
really right now, this would be perfect the way it is. Mm. Let's do a little bit more. Oh my God, this is so good. I mean, seriously, this is a, a lot. I'm really gonna have to freeze some of this. I'm really gonna have to go through my freezer too and figure out what I can get rid of. Or maybe I can bring this over to a friend's house for New Year's. I know the kids would love it. Ugh, this is so delicious looking. Let me just show you guys. I mean, this is a pot full of gold. Now this is a pot full of gold. Look at that. Look at how yummy that looks. Look at that. Oh, and there's another thing that we are putting in this as well. I've got some bacon. We're going to get some bacon up in this. All right. I am going to, just for fun, I am only putting it in a little, I'm, I'm not going to put all of this. We're not going to cook all of it tonight. But I am going to take some and I'm going to bake it. So it's going to fill this little container up. Oh, my goodness. This looks amazing i just like this is heaven now this is mac and cheese i can totally do this i can absolutely totally do this and you know it would be really good too so like like i said earlier i made um i was you know trying to make sure this this cheese and everything melts so there's another thing that i had put in it afterwards because when i added um too much of the the broth and it made it a little bit too like too um, liquidy. Um, I, for lunch, I was eating, I had made, the other night I made um, a cauliflower mash. So I had some of that in the soup too. Ooh, that was really good. It did make it thick it a little bit more thicker, but oh my God, it was delicious. All right, since we are going to be baking this, I'm gonna grab my shredded white cheese since this kind of didn't quite work out. I mean, I have a little bit in there we can use. Yeah. I don't know if it needed to be crispier or what, or maybe because I stuck it in a bag so it didn't really crisp up the way it did. It got a little soft, but we can still use some of this. But what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a layer of cheese. And this is my um, white cheddar cheese. I don't know why, but I like white cheddar cheese than I do the other stuff. So we're gonna put just a little bit of layer of that. Like I said, I've already got my oven preheated. So this shouldn't take that long since we kind of did the cooking already. And this is just basically melting the, the, I can't even speak, the yumminess on top of it. Goodness, I made a mess on this calendar trying to crunch up those little, those little bread crumbs. All right. We are going to chop up some of our bacon. Now I made this earlier too. Like I said, I try and prep some of this stuff beforehand because if not, we will be here all night long. We don't want to be here all night. All right. I mean, I could. I mean, I could be here all night, you know, cooking, doing stuff I like. Um, Matter of fact, kind of like, well, this is cooking. I can run out to the other fridge real quick and show you something that I made. Um, I was kind of craving something the other night and I wanted something not really necessarily sweet because I don't really care for sweet, but I was online and I was looking for something to make. And because um, I'm going to be doing um, my brother's, well, she's pretty much my sister in law, I'm just my other sister. Um, Okay, this is what we're doing, so you guys see. So, I'm putting the bacon bits. I'll just move this back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I was trying to think of some cute ideas and stuff like that to make for um, desserts and stuff that I can, you know, show you guys what to do. So I made this thing. Um, I'm putting all of this bacon on here, by the way. Don't wanna waste none of it. I know my dog would come up here and eat it, no problem. Um, but anyways, um, I 
I made this dessert and it was the most simplest thing and it was the most simplest ingredients and it's stuff but like I said I just had to try and get rid of but I really wanted you know to find you know something fun to do so I had some um, heavy whipping cream that I needed to use that so right now I'm just putting the breadcrumbs that I was able to crumble up and some of the bigger pieces too I'm just putting that on top of it like I said this is what it said to do we're kind of doing it if you have breadcrumbs I just thought it would be cute to make our own let's get the rest of that in here there we go but um, anyways it was pretty delicious now I'm not a huge chocolate fan not as much as I used to be all right let's put this in the oven and we're just gonna put it in there just for a few minutes So, um, so I made that and I made my own homemade whipping cream to go with it. So we're going to grab them real quick. We're going to go out to the other garage and I'm going to show you guys them because they are so stinking cute and they are pretty delicious. So one of these nights we'll do desserts. Hold on. Let's get that light off. So we'll do desserts and I'll make you guys, if you guys want, I can show you how to make these. Hold on. Let's get rid of some of this crumbs here. That way I'm not putting myself in crumbs. Okay. All right. At least somewhat clean. I made a huge mess here tonight. Let me get this too. Okay, so I made my own whipping cream afterwards. So I went back to the store and I ended up getting more whipping cream. So this is my whipping cream. It's nice and stiff. And I kind of like mine that way. But if you look, see how nice and stiff it is? That's the way I like my whipping cream. It's perfect. Okay. So all you do is when you make this and what I did is when I put it in our in our little mixture that we have It has like a whipping cream or a whipping section on it I just put it there and I turn it all the way up and I just let it whip until it starts getting nice and thick And that's what I like. So then all I did <coughs> Again you guys sorry my throat's got a little tickle in it All right so all I did is I did that. I added a little bit of powdered sugar because you want to give a little bit of that sweetness. And then all I did is I took some cocoa and powder and I stuck it in there and whipped it all together. And this is, let me show you this, hold on. Mm. All right. See how cream and fluffy? Look at that. See, it's like almost like a mousse. So if you do that, put it in there, whip it all in, whip it together. I would personally, take some of this and add more to it and give it more of a fluff because like I said I don't really care for chocolate all that much it kind of helps break it down a little bit <coughs> my goodness excuse me but anyways it's delicious it's really 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 good my roommate liked it too she said I gotta quit making desserts, but I figured this would be a great way, if you guys, like I said, you guys want me to make this. Mm, totally will. I like it more with a whipping cream on it, but yeah. So maybe one night we'll do that. It's really simple. It's like, maybe we'll do like a couple things, you know, in a row to do them. Um, I need to lay off the sweets or the dessert stuff for a while, just because, ugh, my pants are probably gonna get too tight. All right, let's check on this yumminess in here. Let's see how it's doing. I know it's only been a couple minutes, but still, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm so super excited. All right, look at that. Nope, still gotta go longer. How do you like that close up? Okay, so I have to tell you a little story. So there was a huge close up on my little masher. So I have to tell you something. So my roommate came home from her parents' house. She says, hey, I got you a gift, you know, from over the holidays. 
And I said, what? She goes, she goes, you're going to laugh. She goes, I saw it. She goes, I had to get it for you. So anytime when I mash anything and I don't feel like getting the mixer out, because normally I use, I use the mixer. So um, I've been using this, this here. And this here is not a potato masher. It's actually a pastry masher. And I told her, it's the same thing. It has, you know, it doesn't have like, you know, the, um, the original um, pastry masher or yeah, pastry mashers. It doesn't have the blades on it like some of them do, like the handheld ones that you, you do. So I just use this and I mash and I would mash the potatoes or mash whatever I needed to mash. So she went and she saw that and she got that. So yeah, I just had to, had to share that funny little story. I thought it was funny. Um, her and I had a giggle, but yeah. So yeah, I've been trying to think of some really fun stuff to make. Like I can make the, um, the broccoli cheese and cauliflower soup that I made earlier today. We can make that. Um, let's see what else can we do. Ooh, you know, it'd be fun since I have a lot of that mac and cheese. If I took it and I put it in a, the waffle iron, cause I've seen some of those. Um, let's see what else we can do all kinds of, since I have a lot of it left, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that this weekend, um, for our pantry, um, for what's in our pantry, what's ever left over. Maybe we'll do that this weekend. And then the good thing is since these didn't blend up like I wanted them to, you know, you now have little dippers to dip into your, uh, your mac and cheese tonight. Ooh. Super excited. And also too, since they are still a little crust, well, and I think this is what my issue was, is I put it in a bag so they got, they didn't get to stay nice and crispy, but the ends are nice and crispy. But <clears throat> the good thing is, is you can take these and this is how they make um, cr uh, croutons. So you can take this and put it in a salad. It's gonna have a nice flavor for it. It's gonna be yummy and it's gonna be delicious. So yeah, you can do that with them too. Um, let's check out our goodies, see if it's ready. I can smell that bacon. Nope, we're gonna leave it a little bit longer because I want it to be like not that nicey, nice kind of crispy type thing. And I think they normally do it for like 20 minutes, but I mean, like I said, we're just, we already kind of cooked ours. And like I said, the way it is in the pot, if you guys are just showing it, uh, joining, I'm gonna show you. See that? Doesn't that look yummy? So I have, I had a lot. So we're gonna use some of this for other stuff. Um, like I said, <clears throat> I think this weekend, maybe we'll um, put it in the waffle iron and make the little waffle mac and cheese things. I don't know, we will play with whatever we want. And then um, let's see what else can we make with it. I don't know, we have a lot in there. Like I said, I might, might check out with my friends, see what she's doing, I might bring it up to them. and. Cause I guess that's a lot of mac and cheese. Um, do you guys have any ideas of, you know, other st stuff to cook that you guys would like to see me cook? Um, throw them out there. I know I have a friend of mine. She's always, you know, putting stuff out there, <clears throat> tagging me in it. And I try and find different ways to make it. I know there is something, oh, she showed me about the bread. I think the last thing that I made was with the bread and the, um, and the pizza and the pizza dough. I kind of made that. Um, that was my first time doing that. There's a few things that probably changed on that one, but it was, you know, a learning experience. Let's see what else. Like this here, this is something I just decided to make. Like I said, I've never made mac and cheese before. Um, mac and cheese was not something that we ever really grew up on, but anything that we did make in our house that my mom taught us to make, everything was homemade. Like our spaghetti was homemade. The spaghetti sauce was homemade. Well, not the spaghetti noodles, but the spaghetti sauce. Everything in our house, like same thing with this here, like with the whipped cream, with this, this is all of it. Everything was always homemade. Everything was made from scratch. So um, I like to look at stuff and see how people put it together. And then I be kind of creative and make different ways of doing it, like healthier ways, like with this one here. I kind of decided not to put the roasted um, red peppers in it because I figured we have the broccoli in it. I don't want to do this one in with it but maybe next time, or since I have some leftover, maybe I'll take, open it up and take a couple of these, put it in there and see how it is, and then I'll let you guys know how, how it tastes, if it works well with it or not. Don't wanna ruin a whole bunch of things, but yeah. I am so excited for this thing to come out of the oven. I kinda want it to be done now. I'm ready, 
I'm ready to try it. So do you guys have any New Year's resolutions that you're gonna do? Mine is probably to get out more walking. I, we used to go hiking every weekend and I've kind of been lazy the last couple of years about, about getting out there. True, it does. It's, it kind of reminds me if you add the beef to it. So um, Kevin had said mac and cheese with ground beef sounds good, even though it's not healthy. Well, you can, you can make it healthy. You can do like ground turkey or, you know, if you get a leaner meat or like a grass-fed beef. I mean, that can always be, you know, kind of healthier that way. Like I said, with this one here, it's with cheese and, and other stuff. I think when you make it more from scratch, it's a little bit healthier because you can kind of figure out what you want to put in it um, and stuff like that. Matter of fact, there was a guy that I had watched and I had made a mac and cheese and the cheese was more out of cauliflower, which was really good. I just didn't like the noodles I used. I think it was um, a red lentil noodle, noodle and I didn't really care for it. Nor normally I don't eat pasta period. I probably use something different. But um, for this one here tonight, I'm like, we're going all out. We're just gonna use the regular um, pasta noodles. But, um, but yes, no, definitely, you know, ground beef, you can definitely do it. You can make it healthy. That's why with this one here, instead of just cheese and pasta, I decided to throw in some broccoli with it to help get some of those veggies in there. Um, and besides, you know what, broccoli and cheese, I mean, come on, who can say no to broccoli and cheese? Even kids love broccoli and cheese. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think of other things that we can make. Um, I've been really kind of racking my brain of stuff that we do because I don't want to do something on here that I do all the time, like stuff that I've always done and I don't want to keep making it um, over and over again. Because there was a guy that I follow and it was like, I felt like every every week it was the same thing. It was like shrimp and tacos, you know, it was the same, same thing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I don't know. Why is it when you have a cold? At night, it kind of tends to bug you more. I don't get it. Like, I don't cough during the day, but at night, it feels like I want to cough more. All right, I'm going to pull this out just because I think it's done to my standards. I mean, we can do it longer and make the noodles a little bit more crustier, but I don't really want to do that. I just kind of want everything to be melted on it. Now, it is nice and bubbly in here. Let me show you guys because you guys got to see this bubble. Look at that bubbling in there. See it? Mm, doesn't that look delicious, you guys? Doesn't that look yummy? Ugh, all right, shall we dig into it? Let me get a bowl. Since I kind of used my bowls, let me go grab one. Hold on, look at that. Can you see it? I think you can, watch it. All right, got my little bowl. Did you guys watch it? Were you guys tempted to taste it? I bet you guys were. Now, if you were here, I would totally let you guys eat it, but you're not. Unless you hurry up and drive over here. You guys better drive fast. All right. <clears throat> okay, again, this is our yummy mac and cheese. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want to scoop it out. I want it to be really pretty. All right, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna make it like, whoops. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right. Let's use this. Okay, now I don't want to burn my finger. Oh my God, the other day, I went to go move a pan that I had just taken out of the oven and I put my hand on it and like burnt the tip of my fingers. I'm like, oh. All right, you guys can see this. Okay, good. We're gonna dig in and just scoop good yummy little portion. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You guys, I am super, super excited to try this. Okay, so Kim, I know you just joined in, but we made a mac and cheese and I will show you in just a minute what we made. So, cause there's a ton left. All right, look, this is the mac and cheese that we made. And girl, it is so, well, okay. We tried it earlier, but it's delicious. So I had put it in, I thought I figured we'd bake it. So again, earlier we tried crumbling up this yummy bread, but it didn't work. 
but that's okay. We had a little bit of crumbs from it and we put it on top. So on top of it, we put some bacon, some more um, cheddar cheese, because you know, you can never not, not have enough. All right, so this is mac and cheese. We have a bunch of different cheeses in here. We have on top of it, we have yummy, yummy bacon. And then inside of it, we put some broccoli because, you know, we had to have some veggies in there. And then, yep, and some of the breadcrumbs. So, mm. oh, good Lord. This is delicious, you guys. Mm. All right, I'm going to have to do another, another bite because that was way good. Mm. Oh, good night. Good Lord. Okay. I like food, but this, ooh, put me to bed. Mm. All right, let's put that down. Cause seriously, that is delicious. This is the not the same kind of mac and cheese that I had that when I was a kid. This is the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my whole entire life. And I've tried other people's mac and cheese and I've liked them, but this one here, I really like the cheeses that I picked and that I put them in here. And I like that I didn't go through and use the sharp cheddar cheese or anything like that. I like the combination of all the cheeses from different countries. So again, I'm gonna tell you guys real quick the cheeses that I did use because, oh, good Lord. They are, they're all European cheeses. And well, except for one or maybe two. All right, there's three of them that are from Europe. So there's one, it's from Switzerland. It's La Grieri. I don't know what that is, but anyways, and I don't remember where I found it, but it was good. Then there's a semi soft part skim. It's supposed to have like a nutty flavor. It's by these guys. I'm not really sure what kind of cheese it was, but it melts and it's delicious. And then the one that was from the 14th, what did I say it was from? The 14th century, it was like the biggest, it was like, oh, it was the cheese. It was the bomb back then. <clears throat> and it's named after the town, um, Adam. It's E-D-A-M. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct, but this was a pretty good cheese too. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And then of course my creamy natural Gouda cheese. And then of course my favorite is the roasted garlic pasteurized processed New York State Cheddar cheese. Okay, we did put cheddar cheese in here. Sorry, I forgot. But it's gar garlic. Hey, it's delicious. All right, so we did get some cheddar cheese in there. Besides the one that I put on top. But, oh, you guys, this is amazing. You have to go make it. So I will put what cheeses that, um, yes, it is definitely a good cheat dinner. Cheat day dinner. Yes, it is. Um, so I will put in the description when I put the recipe up on, on the board and after I have a photo shoot with my food, I will, um, I will put what cheeses I use. Now I can't tell you where I got them from because I don't remember where I got them from. Um, I think I was just kind of, let me think. It could have been Trader Joe's and it could have been Walmart. So when I'm out and about and I hit my favorite places, I will look and see if those are the cheeses. I'll take pictures of them so when I go around, I'll, I'll let you know where I got the cheeses from. Um, and then I'll post that a little bit later where I found the cheeses. But they're all delicious and yummy. And with, like I said, with this combination of this, it's delicious. It's like, it's absolutely yummy. So in front, for some of those that you, that have just jumped on, um, also too, I had made some yummy chocolate pudding and I was thinking of making a, uh, making a video of that as well. Um, cause I also made, cause it's really simple. It was just making homemade fro or uh, homemade frosting, homemade whipping cream, um, adding some chocolate and a little bit of um, powdered sugar. And then, yeah, I'm thinking Trader Joe's too, because my, my places that I go to is pretty much Trader Joe's, um, Walmart, sometimes Whole Foods. I haven't really been to Whole Foods except for one time when I was looking for something to see if they, if they had what I was looking for but I don't think I got the cheese there. But like I said, if I find out where I got them from, um, I will let you know because it made the bomb of um, 
mac and cheese. This is a pretty good mac and cheese. And then also with whatever crumbs I was able to get out of this on top of it is really good. And like I said, if you can't, just take it, dip it in there, whatever. And oh, you know what? I, I bet you even if you put them this size, if you chop them up and put them on there and then you bake it, this would be probably be good too. So anyways, you guys, I think that's it tonight. I want to go stuff my face with this. This is definitely my cheat dinner tonight, especially because it's all these carbs. But anyways, you guys have a great night and I will do a quick little um, photo shoot with my food and I will post the recipe a little bit later. Love you guys, have a great night and um, I will see you guys later. And please like, share, go over to the YouTube page, watch some of the videos over there, share them if you want. I don't know how you do it over there because I'm kind of clueless to YouTube. But anyways, go over, like, share, share with your friends, share with your family, share it on your page. Let's just get out there and get more people like on our page. Um, because you know what? This is a delicious food. And again, it can lead into something better. All right, you guys have a great night. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I will go stuff my face. Love you guys. Thank you. Have a good night.